Well, the people hired to study merging Madison County's 911 services with Onondaga County's 911 think it's a good idea, suggested in slow phases. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was in the room in Wampsville where Madison County decision makers got their first look at the research. 7101 status. Madison County 911 dispatcher Thomas Molinari says he would quit his job if it required him to drive to Onondaga County's 911 center on Onondaga Hill. 911 dispatchers generally know Madison County. Uh, Madison County dispatchers are trained in Madison County, and I think that puts a big red flag up. Uh, going to a different county where you may not always get a person right away. You know, we would like to see the employees from Madison County be a part of a consolidation. That would be very valuable. Having coming from a consolidated police agency as well, having our dispatch agency, when we did have dispatchers going into a consolidation, taking care of people is the number one consideration, as well as ensuring that your services provide the best possible service to the community. Madison County is smaller than Onondaga County, so appropriately, it has a smaller 911 center. There are five stations for dispatchers to take 911 calls. But sometimes, based on need, only three of the seats are filled. Folks in Madison County are doing a lot with a little. They have a lot of constraints because of the size of their, the environment and the county and the budget. Um, and the fact that Onondaga County is recognized across the country as one of the best 911 centers in the country. Madison County handles only about 12% of the number of calls Onondaga County dispatches in a year taken by as many as 30 people answering the phones at a given time. Some people assigned to taking the calls, another group of people dispatching appropriate first responders. Policies and procedures and training, and they have technology that they are willing and able to share with Madison County. While the consultant is all for it, the man elected to oversee the decision feels there is still work to do. Uh, you're kind of held to their standards, and uh, I've got questions about that that uh, I'd like answered myself. So, this is not something that, if it did happen, would happen overnight. It would happen over time, and it would be done in a way that people wouldn't notice any interruptions in service. A slow process to make sure you get the quickest response. In Walmsville, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now, in terms of phases, the consultants suggest immediate improvements, some technology integration between the counties in the next year or so before full consolidation in two to four years' time. There is a public meeting to learn more about what this merger could mean for both counties. That will take place on Thursday, June 27th at 6.30 at night at Chittenango High School.